Hi everyone, Jenny Bennett here from Gem Auras. Welcome to our channel. This is the channel that's dedicated to crystal healing, angel therapy, the law of attraction and vibrational living. But have you ever wondered how to get rid of negative thoughts? How to get rid of negativity? How to stop thinking negative thoughts? Well, if you have, stay tuned. This is a video for you. Well, actually, we can't. We cannot stop negative thoughts. Whoa, hang on a minute. So this video is about how to get rid of them, but now you're saying you can't. Well, let me explain. So we actually live in an attraction-based universe. We actually live in a universe where vibrations attract another vibration of an equal level. So in other words, law of attraction means that like attracts like and we cannot as much as we try try and push something away because what happens is what we resist persists for example if i asked you right now to not think about a blue elephant in the room as much as your conscious mind would try 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 you would be thinking about that blue elephant or you'd be saying things like, I must not think about a blue elephant. I must not think about a blue elephant. But what's happening vibrationally is that you're signaling to the universe a blue elephant. So this is what we mean about negative thinking. You cannot stop negative thoughts. But hang on a minute, there is something that we can do. So let me explain what you can do to help you think positive thoughts. So let's give you an example of that. Let's say you keep having a negative thought about a particular relationship. It doesn't have to be a relationship of a romantic nature. It could be a relationship, a friendship or a family member. But you keep having these negative thoughts about something that maybe happened years ago, but you're harboring that and you keep bringing that now into existence today. And you keep thinking about these, this situation that happened years ago how do you stop yourself from thinking those thoughts? Well, as I said earlier, we are an inclusion-based universe. So whatever we think about is what we're attracting right now. So instead of thinking about stopping the thoughts, there are a couple of ways that you can actually change your thoughts. So let me share those with you right now. So how do we go from negative thinking into positive thinking? Okay, so to go from negative thinking into positive thinking, as soon as you catch yourself in that moment, having that negative thought, this is what I'd like you to do. Think another thought. I mean, it sounds simple enough, doesn't it? But usually what happens is we will sit there and we want to make things sound that we're right. So would you rather be right? Or would you rather be happy? Let's say you had an argument with a family member years ago and you believe that you were the right person in that situation. So you keep replaying it in your head over and over and over again because you want to prove to that person that you're right. Well, hang on a minute. Would you rather be happy or would you rather be right? But anyway, let's not even worry about right or wrong or who's right or who's wrong or let's just think about, okay, so this thought keeps coming into your head and sometimes on a daily basis, which actually is affecting everything in your life. What do we do? Well, we know now that we can't stop those thoughts because we live in a, an inclusion-based universe. So tip number one is to think of something else. Okay, so we get this thought in our head about this family member, he did, she did, this is what they did, this is what they said. As soon as you find yourself feeling and thinking those thoughts, think of something else. Think of something that makes you happy. Maybe think about your kids, think about something that you did, something that you baked, something that you made, something that really makes you happy, a friend of yours that made you laugh straight away. Think of something different. That will take your thinking process from this thought into that one. So think of something different. That's point number one. Okay, here it is. So instead of thinking something different, 
maybe you still want to think of this thing, but you want to see in a new light. And this is where the challenge comes in. And this is the idea of what we call pivot thinking. So we have this thought about maybe a family member, he or she said something to you years ago that really offended you. You think that you're in the right and you keep living this thought every day. It comes up in some format. Okay, how do we nip it in the bud right now? We already know that we can't push against it. We can't say to ourselves, stop thinking that because by nature of the universe, it's gonna give you more thoughts attached to that. Okay, so let's think about pivot thinking. Now, what happens with pivot thinking? As a pivot does, it takes you from this point to this point on the same topic. Now, this does take time to do, but try it if you can today. Try it maybe on a topic that just comes up all the time that you just feel you need to make an amendment or a change to it. So, of course, in the future, you're going to feel so much different about it. So what happens is you think about this thing. As soon as you catch yourself thinking about it, try and go as general as you can. So for example, you've had an argument with a family member years and years ago and you're harboring that, you're, you're living it, you're breathing it every single day. As soon as you realize that that's come back up in your thought process, the first thing to do is to acknowledge that you're thinking it. And it's, it's like, oh, okay, yep, I'm thinking that thought again. How do I deal with it? So the first thing is to acknowledge that it's happening. Now, once you've made that acknowledgement, then what do you need to do? You need to go as general as you possibly can on that thought process. Let's say that the argument was to do with, I don't know, how you raise your children. Your family member has one viewpoint and you have another. So you're gonna to think to yourself, okay, well that's, that's their viewpoint, that's what they think, but this is my viewpoint. So make it about that, that okay, well this is what I feel, and it's really got nothing to do with another person about what I feel, because I'm unique, this is me, and this is what I think. So to go as general as you possibly can and then say something like, well, you know, usually my family member who has ever upset you in whatever way by saying that you deal with your, uh, you know, your children in a different way. So, OK, well, normally on most topics, we tend to agree together. We tend to agree about the same things and that makes you feel better automatically straight away. So go general and say to yourself, well, you know what, this family member, 99% of the time, you know, we're pretty much on an even keel and we feel the same. If that makes you feel better, do you see where we're going? So we're actually going a little bit more general and finding ways that we can resonate with that family member on completely different topics. So we've gone a little bit more general. And that's a great way to pivot think, is that you've gone from being really angry with this family member to, well, you know, normally we are in agreement and normally we can come from a loving, beautiful place together. This is what we call pivot thinking. So I challenge you now, if this ever happens in your life where you do feel that you're harboring something from maybe years ago, weeks ago, months ago, that you do then take it into a more uh, idea of being an, an open forum, if you like, thinking about other ways that you and this person actually can come into an agreement. So you're not even thinking about the, the thing that annoys you in the first place, you're opening it up to lots of other things where actually you are in agreement. Try it, it really does make you feel in a different space. And then by law of attraction, this is the magic essence, if you like. This is when it all comes into play. Because then you are in agreement that you and your family member actually can come to an agreement about most things. And that's the vibration that you're holding on to. And then you'll probably find that days and weeks and months will go by that you no longer feel this angst about that family member because the vibration now that you're holding 
is one of unity and one of love and one of peace. It is a wonderful way of taking yourself from that place that you were weeks or months ago into this beautiful space now. And then by law of attraction, what you'll find is that this family member then will actually, you'll never have a situation arise again that you feel you are at loggerheads because by law of attraction, you're bringing more and more and more attracted into the situation. And of course, that is one of love and peace because you've trained yourself into that very being. It's called pivot thinking. Try it today. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. And also, if you'd like to join our 21 day challenge to a happier you, make sure you check all the videos out in the series and we'll see you soon.